Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today I want to discuss five five sneakers we got coming up in 2025. We got a lot of heat on the way that year. I mean, yeah, ne basically next year is, is going to be a good year. That's all we really need to say. We'll get into it and we'll discuss some of the options that, well, we got for next year. It's a wide variety of stuff, but Jordan Brand is definitely uh, stepping up their game. You know, I think they've noticed some of the reception in 2024. People wanting some other things and they're, they're listening. That's what I'll say. But if you guys want more content like this, again, feel free to check out my Instagrams. Always buying, selling, and trading here. And I post like some early pair content here. I'll be posting some stuff and some early SBs next week. So if y'all want to stay tuned for that, feel free to, you know, stay followed here and I'll be posting that on the channel uh, as well. And don't forget also to check out my sourcing group. Again, if you like under market sneakers, this is what we do. Uh, we got some crazy deals coming for next week, some under market futures, a couple other early pairs. So if you're into stuff like that, getting some good deals on kicks, make sure you guys check us out down below. Get in there. Don't miss out because we do that pretty much every single day. I'll even be doing a few today and then tomorrow I'll be scheduling the week two ones. So we got some crazy stuff coming up. You can click through this and see. Yeah, we do lots and lots of deals pretty much every retail price or again way under market so you're still able to make a profit in it or at least get a good deal you know what i mean but yeah that's pretty much everything i need to say hope y'all will check those out down below don't forget to subscribe and like here for more on the channel just trying to 200 likes this is a normal goal and uh yeah again not the end of the world if we don't hit that but it would mean a lot let's get started so the first one i want to get into is the jordan one bread 85 so a lot of people actually really like the jordan 185 i'm a big fan of it i actually have I only have like one or two pairs of 85s in my collection, but they are pretty nice. The one thing I can say is they're hard to put on your feet, right? You gotta you gotta lace them pretty loose to get them on your feet. Uh, I don't know why that is. I think it's just again because they're built a little bit taller uh, than a normal Jordan One. Well, they're, they're kind of the same height. It's just they're, they're maybe a little bit more narrow. It's kind of hard to describe, but if I got them side by side right now, I could show y'all. I'll, I'll do that. It's just yeah, like they're they're a little bit taller. You know what I mean? So they're 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 just kind of harder to get on your feet. Maybe that makes sense. Sorry, I just had to put like a crease protector in uh, one of the kicks. They're creasing a bit. It doesn't matter. Over time, as you wear your kicks, they'll crease. But aside from that, again, we got kind of this really good uh, kind of patent leather look. It's what it looks like. Again, kind of looks similar to the recent um, patent bread Jordan 1 highs that they did. I know it's not that colorway, but it, it, it is a bread colorway. And this kind of looks like it might be a uh, patent material. Like, I'm trying to get a close-up view. But, okay, no, never mind. I don't think it is a patent material. Just kind of that nice OG Jordan leather. I don't know why it looked kind of shiny, but still, we got something cool on the way. It's coming in February of next year. Again, you can see Jordan Brand's listening. It's people wanted these. They wanted the, you know, OG 85s. Well, we got another one that we got on the way. This is not like, again, personally my taste. Uh oh, screen recording froze. Give, give me a sec, y'all. Give me a sec. All right, we should be good now. But as you guys can see, I'm going to go over these ones briefly. I think last time these dropped was like 2005, something like that. Let me see. 2004. 2004 is the last time these dropped, I think. I think. Again, I, I haven't seen the Mellow 12s in, in quite a while. I feel like I would have remembered this one. But again, we got them coming in summer 2025. It's probably been a while, again, since we've seen these. So I know most of my OG sneakerheads are probably going to be going for these more or less. Maybe it'll be a little bit of a throwback for them if they got them back in the day. For me, again, this would be kind of a new pair for me. I haven't really, uh, again, seen these that much before. And also, if the last time they dropped truly was 2004 or 2005, then yeah, your boy definitely didn't see him. I, I was two, two or three then. So um, yeah, there was no shot of seeing the, seeing the drop then. You know what I mean? Or remembering anything about it? But something else is pretty cool on the way. I know a lot of. I I just saw good reception uh with these on twitter so i can tell that they're going to be popular it's going to be one that people are going for uh and the overall comments are pretty good like people you know you see what i'm saying people are seeming to like them so yeah and a lot of people are saying 2025 is going to be a good year i agree 2025 has a like it's going to be solid i mean from from jordan 4 just from jordan brand in general and like esb they're going to be killing it y'all are going to see that I, I can tell you guys it, it's going to be a good year and from just what we've seen online so far i feel like most people can say that but Aside from that, another one we got is the Trophy Room Air Jordan 6. We're actually going to be seeing these summer 2025. So, again, another Trophy Room Jordan collab. Uh, I think they've already done a Jordan 6, if I'm wrong. Maybe, I, I think I am wrong on that. Give me give me a second. But I'm pretty sure they've... they've or no, no, no. They did Jordan uh, Jordan 7, not Jordan 6. Yeah, no, I was confusing it with uh, the Trophy Room Jordan 7s. These, actually. Um, pretty cool pair. Again, not not, not, not not a terrible one. I actually like the color one of these. But, yeah, they don't flip like that. But, we, we, we you know, we have to see how these could do. People do like Jordan 6 sixes like it is a fairly popular model if they make them right i'll say this they'll be very popular like there's some past jordan sixes that used to not you know resell for that much for example the jordan six uh chrome i think those dropped back in late 2022 or early 2023 now those are flipping for like 300 350 bucks some sizes i think even more so it just goes to show like if you get a colorway that people like like if they make these correctly and it ends up being like a solid 
you know colorway you can wear a lot of the time they'll do well 100 at first they might not do well but over time they will age well i can say that because again jordan six are it's a popular model people go back to uh because they're durable usually have good materials on them and uh you can you can you can wear them every day like you can wear them a lot and they'll look about the same uh about the same excuse me a couple weeks later they really won't look that much different if you take care of them uh like you might have a little bit of creasing, but that usually isn't a problem uh, with sixes that much, that much. From what I know, from what I know, again, I've only had maybe a pair or two of sixes. It's kind of like me with Jordan 185s. I have like a pair or two, but I don't, I don't really wear them like you know that much. And with sixes, I, I don't have any more anymore. So you know, I would, I again, I'd be new to you know maybe some of the new ones crease. I don't know. I mean, every shoe creases a bit, you know. But from what I heard, they're still good reliable models so uh yeah if they make this correctly oh yeah it's gonna be popular i'll say that so yeah whatever whatever leaked recently in the in the latest jordan brand meeting uh yeah i mean we got some good info out of it i'll say that this is um this is far i'm looking forward to it. hopefully that concept uh will 100 come to life and another one again another amamani or jordan 5 i'm not sure uh if this is going to be women's or men's sizes it doesn't look like it's going to be women's sizes so kind of similar uh to they don't have the skew yet though so that, that is something that tells me that they don't know if it's a men's or women's pair yet but aside from that this is a really really nicely done colorway like i know this is something all right we're back sorry this is another interruption my uh camera froze because um I, I had too many files on it so i just deleted some files off it i'll be sure to clear that after this video but getting back to what i was discussing about the amamani or jordan 5s i believe this is just a mock-up at the moment we do have the details of the colorway right so it'll probably look something like this and it's I, I hope it does i hope it does again you, as you can see just mock up picture but I, I hope it looks something like this because this would be a very very nice everyday colorway not everyone's style but i love icy blues uh just icy icy blue icy souls icy blue on a sneaker you put it there i'm probably gonna like it so something like this for me is a definite cop I would hope it would look like this. It'll probably end up looking a little bit different, like not as good. I mean, that's usually the case. I'm just saying uh, it could look better. I mean, I'm, I'm saying, you know, it's 100% possible. But um, yeah, this is just a couple things we have to keep in mind. It's another really good collaboration we have on the way. 100% going to be hard to get. I mean, the last uh, couple of my here, Jordan 5s did good. So I imagine these would do good. If they made them in men's sizes, they'll probably do close. S similar to the Dusk, not as well because people like those a lot more let's be real if i mean if you compare this to those people probably take the dusk most of the most of the time but aside from comparing still something really cool on the way 2025 another i'm on here jordan 5 collaboration looking forward to it hopefully again it looks like this icy souls i'm, I'm here for we need those and finally we're going to be seeing the aqua air jordan 8 uh now this is actually um as you can see they posted this on april 15th From now it's it's been confirmed that we're actually going to be seeing these next year you probably saw this recently on my um community shorts uh tab like i make some posts there it's usually like usually like you know notifying y'all about some upcoming stuff leaks etc uh and i posted something about this these are actually going to be returning in 2025 i think it's april or may but aside from this this, this was a sneaker i saw i'm probably on, on like one out of every 15 person's like feet in high school like and i had a few thousand people in my high school but this was a very very popular shoe is basically what i'm trying to get at i always saw these on people's feet it was it's just like it, it's a good daily like you, you can beat them up you know it's just a good daily sneaker they're comfy jordan 8s are definitely comfortable from what i've heard um uh, again it's kind of you know to, to each its own but i mean that's with most sneakers you know what i mean but from what i've heard from overall uh most people like the general public jordan 8s are comfy so that's one of the main things i can get at but aside from you know the comfort factor we are going to be seeing these return in 2025 i know uh it doesn't say that on this post but z sneaker has this actually already came like came through and confirmed it i think a couple other people as well but just stay tuned we're going to be seeing these again come back i just jordan brands bring it back like bring back a lot of the classics stuff that people want which is not a bad thing because i mean you got some people you know saying i love an og pair for sure i mean we're lucky in the first place that they're even bringing him back and i know this post was a couple months ago so i mean now this person's probably happy you know what i mean not trying to throw shade uh at them but yeah you know what i mean the main thing i'm trying to get at also is like we got to just be grateful that jordan brand is even bringing back some of these because some of these uh they're, they're not going to bring back some of these you know og models that people really want like that that's a fact well, they'll miss a couple that's just how it is um but you know be glad for the ones that they are bringing back because they also could just be like nah no <laughs> here's some more vomeros and you know simple sb colorways they could just do that and uh you know probably do just as fine because uh, that's what's selling for them right now but they, they are getting creative they're kind of going back in the vault i think this is something they need to do uh for you know again brand popularity it's gonna really help them in 2025 a lot of people are gonna be focusing on jordan brand and uh, spending their money with them if we have some heat like this on the way if all this you know comes through like all this right here it's gonna be a strong year i'll say that and with you know the jordan 4 sb collaborations a couple others yeah 
I mean, I think we're all looking forward to 2025 for sneakers. Like it, there, there is, there is some crazy stuff on the way. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, we're already closing 2024 strong. There's a lot of really good, uh, holiday SB releases and a couple other drops. So again, I'm here for it, but that is what I can say again. Don't forget to check me out down below. Uh, again, we're not my guy, but my group, uh, kind of like a sourcing group. Again, this is what we mainly focus on getting new pairs at under market prices or at retail prices. If you're into anything like that, make sure you guys check us out down below. Join us right there. I will leave it in the pinned comment or again at the top of the description right there so you guys can get in and start getting some deals with us. Again, we do this every single day. So if you like, again, cheaper sneakers, well, not cheaper sneakers, like hype sneakers for better prices, that's what we do. And don't forget to check out my IG. So Y'all want to subscribe and like down below. I'm trying to 200 likes on this video, so normal goal again. Just lets me know that these are the types of videos y'all want more of. And let me know what y'all are thinking about some of these 2025 drops. Again, I'll definitely be posting some content about those on my Instagram. I got some really uh, cool early pair stuff coming this week there. So make sure you guys are staying tuned here. That's what I can say. And thank you guys uh, for the support on this photo. This photo. And also, um, which one? This reel. Why does this reel almost have 40K? Like, people are hating on the Paris Olympics. But it's, it's like my most viewed reel. I don't get it. I'll be doing one for the White Thunders um, this week. So that one, maybe that one would do really well as well. We'll see. But that's what I can say. Pretty interesting, right? So I'm on that screen recording. I'm T. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for your support. As always, I love you all. And uh, I will catch you on the next one tomorrow. I will be going live. Maybe I went live today. I don't know. I, it will be, again, like, soon. Again, I've just been focusing on my group launch this week getting that scheduled out you know with like all the items are sourcing in there stuff like that again not really like a cook group focus thing we don't really focus on release info just again getting you the sneakers you want at better prices we we, we bring the source to you that's it i'm t i'm gonna catch you on the next video tomorrow don't miss out on that peace